And moving on to the second transaction, you buy an ice cream machine for $8,000 cash. And notice that I have the balance sheet here from the end of the previous transaction. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be listing out the transactions and then I'll have the balance sheet from the previous transaction written out over here. So we have something to refer to and we can see how this new financial data affects this financial information over here. So you buy an ice cream machine for $8,000 cash. So what's going to happen here in this transaction? Well, notice how your cash, it's going to go down by $8,000. You're spending $8,000. But what are you going to receive? You're going to receive an ice cream machine. Let's just call it a machine. That's going to be worth $8,000. And notice that this machine here is an asset. So the way that the new balance sheet is gonna look like after this transaction, so we got assets, liabilities, and equity. So cash went down by $8,000. So if you had $15,000 cash initially, how much cash are you gonna have now? You're gonna have 7,000. And then you got a machine uh, for 8,000. And notice how this right side here is still going to stay the same. We still got that loan for $5,000 under liabilities, and we still have that capital that you invested of $10,000. So notice that from this transaction here, the only thing that changed was that left side of the balance sheet. So one asset went down and now we have a new asset, this machine here, right? So the cash is 7,000, this is 8,000. Notice that both of these are still balancing, right? If we add up all the numbers here, we got 15,000. And then if we add up all the numbers here, we have 15,000 as well. And as you'll see further on in the course, notice that here we have two different kinds of assets. Notice that this cash here, we can consider this sort of like a short-term asset. That's hopefully gonna be used pretty quickly because cash by itself is worthless. It's not really creating any value. It's just something that's sitting there versus this machine here, it is gonna create value in the long-term because it's gonna produce this ice cream that you could sell and make revenue with. So this is more of a long-term asset. And short-term assets, as we'll see, they're also called current assets. While long-term assets, uh, sometimes you'll see them call, be called fixed assets. But for now, I'm just going to keep it at cash and machine for the uh, upcoming balance sheets. But I thought I would mention that the difference between these, this is more of a short term, a current asset. This is more of a long term fixed asset that's going to be used uh, as the company is a going concern. And as you'll see, as we get further and further into detail with the balance sheet, you're going to start seeing these uh, types of subcategories under assets, current assets, and then you're going to have fixed assets as well.